everyone, Prestissima here. Today, we're gonna learn a song called Hail, Hail, the Gang's All Here. Hail, Hail, the Gang's All Here was a popular song. Let's have some fun. All right, Hail, Hail, the Gang's All Here uses notes from the G major scale. We know our G major scale, let's practice it. So I'm gonna start on G. G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G back down, F sharp, E, B, C, D, A, G. All right, good job everyone, don't forget that F sharp. Okay, so the time signature is two, four. That means there are two beats in each measure and the quarter note gets the beat. So let's take a quick peekaboo here. Oh, very interesting. Remember that little guy? That is an eighth rest and we have eighth notes. So we already know we see some more eighth notes as well. So we're gonna use our subdivisions while we count, okay? So we'll go ahead and count the right hand and we'll subdivide. All right, here we go. I'll count off one and two and, and then we'll start, ready? One and two and. One and two, and 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 all right, this time I'm gonna play the right hand and I'll count it, but you count it with me, okay? Here we go, I'll count off one and two and. One and two and 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 all right now for the left hand let's take a look here before we count it ooh notice the style of this left hand so we have a low note and then we have a chord then a low note and a chord and a low note and a chord and it kind of goes on that way we call this stride piano and we've also seen it in other songs like the herring song. Okay, so as I do a little peekaboo here, there are no eighth notes, but since there were eighth notes in the right hand, I'm gonna still subdivide it when I count. Okay, and this time I am not gonna point. I'm just gonna play it with my left hand and see if you can follow along with your eyes. Okay, so let's try it. I'll still count off one and two and, and you follow along with your eyes, okay? See if you can see where I am. One and two and 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 one and two. along with me okay okay if you have the book it says here to write in the beats under each measure of this song so let's go ahead and write those in okay so you're gonna learn your right hand then you're gonna learn your left hand and don't forget to count and subdivide as you learn to play each hand then you're gonna put them together. Then you're gonna learn to sing the lyrics and play and sing at the same time. Then you're gonna learn to sing the solfege as well. Let me give you some tips. Okay, so starting on our right hand, it says we wanna start on our five finger. So I'll start on that B with my five finger. And then we'll see that the fingers just kind of line naturally. So we have five, and then you'll go to A with a four, down to three, and then down to one for that D. Okay, what else do we see here though? We see some rests, right? So that means when the rest happens, there's silence. And we wanna make sure that rest gets its full value, right? 
So if this is one, this is two, this is one, this is two, and, right? You heard that nice silence there? Let's count it and try it, ready? One and two, and one and two, and one and two, and one and two, and one and two, and. Very nice. Now this next line, we already started here, we ended here with the one finger on the D, right? So we're gonna start there with the one finger, so easy. One, two, three, one, two, one. And then we just did that, right? Exact same thing. One, two, three, one, two, one. Okay, now this third system, look, this is exactly the same as this line, right? They didn't write in any fingerings for you, but we already know them, right? So we're going to play the same thing. Five, don't forget the rest. Five, eighth rest, four, four, three, one. Okay, now for this last line, it starts off kind of like this one did, but it's gonna change a little. So we have one, two, three, right? And then we're gonna swing our one finger under. So one, two, three, and then your finger under, kind of like a scale, right? And then two, five on that D, and then down to one. Very natural, okay? And then don't forget to lift for this rest here so that you only hear the G in the bass. All right, time for the left hand. All right, so notice that we're gonna see that G over and over for these first three measures. So we have the G and then the chord, right? G, chord, G, chord. Oh, but then something changes. So we have the B there and then that same chord of G and B. Okay, so just notice when that changes. Now next, we're gonna go to C and then a new chord. That's F and C. Now I like one and four for this, okay? And you'll see that it repeats throughout the system, right? Just that the bottom note changes. So let's see how that changes. We have C and then go to that F and C chord, jump down to D and then jump up. Got a low stride piano. Jump on down to that F sharp and then jump back up, down to D again. Aha, uh -huh. okay. Then in this next system, Look at that, it looks just like the first one. So same, G to the G and B, G, G, and then remember we switched to the B. Excellent. All right, now in this last system, we're gonna kind of mix up everything that we learned in this entire piece so far. So we're gonna start in that C, and then I'll go to one and four, down to D, one and four, and then we know this one, to the G and then lift for that final rest. Okay, now I see a few more instructions here. It says circle all the rests within this song. Okay, just need my handy dandy pencil. Okay, so let's see. Circle all the rests within this song. All right, there's one quarter rest. Then I see an eighth rest and then another quarter rest. All right, nothing there. Another quarter rest, eighth rest, quarter rest, anything else? Aha, I have a half rest and another quarter rest. Now let's take a look at this rest. Technically, this is a whole rest, right? But it really serves as a half rest because a whole rest is four beats and we're in two four, so every measure only gets two beats. So this is technically, should be a half rest, right? But when composers use a whole rest at the end like that, they just mean to rest for the entire measure. So if this was in 4-4, four, four, that would be four beats. If this was in 2-4, like it is now, this is still only two beats, but it means for the whole measure. Or if this was in 3-4, they might still use the whole rest, but mean just hold it for the three counts. How interesting. Okay, now it says to circle all the thirds in the bass clef within this song. Okay, well, here's the bass clef. Uh, I see some thirds right there. I love circles. Thirds there. They're everywhere. Okay, how about here? That's not a third. Nope, nope, nope. Aha, yes, 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 and yes. How about here? No, no, yes. Okay, what else do we have? It says draw a square around all the fifths in 
the base clef within this sock. Okay, so a square around all the fifths and only in the base clef. All right, so base clef, no fifths, no fifths, no fifths. Here we go. Aha! Uh -huh. Is that a fifth? Yes, it sure is. Uh-oh, my square skills are not as good as my circle skills. How about this one? Same. You know it's the same pattern. And that one is two. And that one also. Okay, let's keep going. No, they already have circles, so we know they're not. That's the same one. It is a fifth. And this one is a fifth. Okay, all done. Good job, everyone. So today, we learned a fun song, Hail, Hail, the gang's all here! We practiced counting, subdividing, rests, and intervals. So remember, practice all your songs, sing while you play, and memorize everything. Presti Sima out!